What's going on y'all? Today we're gonna to be doing a video on the Muddy Basic Pro camera arm. I'm pretty excited about it. It's about $50, so we're gonna see if it's worth the money and we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and take a look at it and mount it on a tree and see if it can hold the camera that I'm holding you guys on right now. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Unboxing time, I'm pretty excited. I actually ordered this uh, camera arm off of Amazon. You can buy them in some stores, but you know, one one reason why I really gravitated towards buying uh, this camera arm is it's from Muddy, and Muddy has been known for notoriously known being for you know budget friendly, but also making good products at the same time. I have a couple of their tree stands that aren't super expensive that I put up on public. That's exactly what I'm going to intend to do with this: is put it on public. I'll definitely use it on private if it's good, but. Muddy makes really good stuff at a very affordable price. So if you're interested in anything from Muddy, go ahead and check them out. I definitely would uh, suggest that because, you know, like I said, I have tree stands and I haven't had any single problem with them. But I'm gonna quit yapping and we're gonna go ahead and see what this is all about. So why anyone's trusting me with dangerous objects? I don't know why, but hopefully I don't cut myself. Amazon also does come with free shipping on orders over, I think $25, I think, something like that. But, uh oh. Here we are. Muddy camera arm. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We have Here's our video head, that's super important. I'll show you, I'll talk about that here in a second. I'll put that down. Um, doesn't feel too god awful bad, so we're gonna go ahead and look at that here in a second, set that down. But let's look at the camera arm itself first because that's what you guys are really here for. So here's the camera arm. It just mounts just directly on a tree, just like this. It looks very simple. Uh, looks like it mounts very well. We're gonna mount it today too, so you guys can actually see it. Um, this is the first time I've actually been able to see one of these. Like I said, I couldn't find any, uh, you know, impressions or anything like this on YouTube. I hadn't get any review or anything like that. Um, so this is going to be the first in-depth review that I know of on YouTube. So hopefully you guys kind of get some information out of this, but here's what it looks like. You're, I'm assuming your ratchet strap goes through here. I don't know what this part right here is for. Not really too sure on that, but we'll go ahead and look at that here in a second. But I'm assuming your ratchet strap comes in through here and through here. They probably have instructions that I should read, but I probably won't. Actually, I will. Let's do that off camera because you guys don't really need to know about all that. But it looks like this is a tightening and loosening lever, if I had to guess. Yeah, so you can do a pivot head. That looks pretty good. This doesn't have any leveling, which... Leveling is kind of one of those things that I feel like if you can just get it square one from the start, like if you can just put it very flush with the tree and find a flush tree that you're putting a tree stand in, you're going to have a really good odd of like getting your camera arm level. You know, I have the fourth arrow baton and that's a great camera arm, but that's $150. It's $100 for just the camera arm and then $50 for the head where this is $50 for the camera arm and the head. So if this actually works out and I like this quite a bit, I'm just going to keep buying all of these and I'm not going to buy anything else from fourth arrow. No offense to fourth arrow, but I'm not sponsored by anyone. So I'm not going to have any sort of, you know, obligation to buy from one specific product or product company, I guess is the best way to put it. But we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the camera arm on this or put it on a tree and I'll show you guys how you mount it. Um, looks like it might be able to extend out too. I don't know what this is. Like I said, I should probably read instructions, but that takes all the fun out of it. I probably shouldn't drop that. It extends. That's freaking cool. I thought it was just a little baby thing the whole entire time. That just made everything worth it. Not that it wasn't worth it before. So far it looks really good, especially because this was only $50, like I said, so. And it seems pretty sturdy, like, only has one pivot head, but you really only need one, especially if you have a fluid video head like it comes with in the package, you know, that can do your pan and tilt. So, like I said, let's go ahead and take a look at the video head now. Um, I'll show you guys what that looks like. So here's what the video head looks like. And has a level if you need to level it. Um, you know, just this fancy Nancy little handle so you can grab your camera and go. Uh, I'm assuming, I'll have to look at it further, but I'm assuming this goes like this over there and then you tilt it down. That's just a guess. I have no idea. There's, I've, like I said, I haven't, 
I don't read instruction, and I probably should, but looks pretty cool. And then it has a quick release latch for your base that actually goes onto the bottom of your camera. Hold on, if I can get her out. Oh, there she goes. So this actually mounts onto the bottom of your camera. So if you have a camera, um, this you see the threads here, it'll go right underneath your camera there. Quick release and it actually goes straight into your camera like that. So very helpful. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and actually mount this onto a tree. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I have a couple trees right to my left here that we're gonna go ahead and try to mount this to, just see how easy it is, see if it can hold my camera up that I have you guys on right now. Um, and we're just gonna go from there. So I'll see you guys right now. So I figured I might as well just go over a quick overview of what you're gonna get in the package when you actually buy this camera arm. You're gonna get a fluid video head, which is actually what attaches to your camera and what you actually film with. A quick release, uh, release detach knob that actually goes onto the bottom of your camera. You're gonna get the actual camera arm itself, and then you're gonna get a box with a whole bunch of stuff you don't really need to know, like the instructions. Just kidding, always read your instructions. Do as I say, don't do as I do. Um, and then it comes with a ratchet strap inside. So we're gonna go ahead and hook everything on. We're gonna mount it. So, so I actually have this bad boy mounted. Um, you can see I have my hooks oscillating one in, one out, facing wise. You can see this one's facing with the hooks like this around the front, and that one's actually going onto the inside. Um, our ratchet strap's on. I just found a lot out, or found a lot about this camera camera arm out. I haven't put my camera on it yet, and I'm getting ready to. But if you look, you can adjust your pan and tilt like this. So if that's too hard or too stiff, I should say, just loosen this like this. That smooths that out quite a bit like that. You can tighten it back up with that knob right there. This is also what is your quick release for getting this off of your tree arm itself. It's hard to do this one-handed. Dang it. Well, you get the point. I can't do it right now, but what you do is you tighten this down or loosen this and that pops up. That's just a clamp that tightens under pressure with this bolt that goes through here. Your pan and tilt, or your up and down, excuse me, is you twist this bad boy in and out, tighter and looser. So if you want it super tight where you can't where you literally pick up the arm itself, tighten it all the way down. If you want to be able to do a little bit of both, you know, pan and tilt, just like that, you can just do that. Tighten her down and you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and throw you guys on the camera arm itself and uh, film off that and show you guys how fluid it is and see if it, you know, films pretty well. So I actually have you guys on this muddy camera arm. Um, for $50, it's actually pretty cool. Um, here's what the... Uh, pan looks like it's pretty smooth you know you do have to do some adjustments to it but that's just like any camera you have to figure out your sensitivity for how heavy your camera actually is but that doesn't look bad at all and I might even loosen that up just a skosh more let's see right there loosening that nut I was telling you guys about no catches panned very well back and forth that looks really good and then up and down looks really good side to side you know oscillating back and forth honestly I am very impressed with this camera arm especially for $50 this, you know there's for a budget camera arm I don't think you can really beat this you know my my first impressions obviously I haven't had any real field experience with an initial impression I'd definitely give this a 10 out of 10 and it's definitely worth the $45 or 40 bucks that I spent on it so. right on so this week's video on the basic camera arm for Muddy is a little bit shorter. I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to spend, you know, $150 to $250 on a camera arm and camera setup. I mean, the camera you want to spend a little bit of money on, but the camera arm setup, you don't have to spend that much. $45 for a camera arm setup. I'm going to leave a link for you guys down in the description of the Amazon link that I got this from so you guys can pick one up for yourself if you're interested. It helped me out. I do get a little bit of commission off of it, but I think you would definitely like it a lot because heck i'm showing it to you guys and like i said in all my videos and product reviews i'm not going to show you guys something and not give you guys an honest review on it i'm always going to tell you guys the ins and out like i said i'm not sponsored by anyone and this camera arm for the the head the arm and everything for 40 dollars definitely gets a you know gets a thumbs up from me i have a lot of hunting content coming up for you guys very soon especially with the weather being cold hopefully i can get a deer down on the ground this weekend i'm going saturday and sunday hopefully um hopefully this weather stays around and i can get you guys a lot of deer uh, on film. I'm going for 10 deer with a bow this year. That's the goal. I'm going to try to film every single one of them I can for you. Uh, the sky's the limit on the content that I'm going to try to get for you guys. I'm super excited for the future and what this brings for this channel. This is no exception for a cheap camera arm like this. I hope you guys love today's video. I hope you're doing super well. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon.